New tonight, a packed house for a community screening of the ABC7 Originals documentary, Injecting Hope. The documentary explores how a legal safe injection site in Canada might just be able to work here. So many people are ODing right now, and that's pretty much, you're just another number now. I have that hope inside that we can change as, as people. Hope's the anchor that you don't have hope, you don't have anything. Tonight's showing at the Tenderloin Museum was followed by a really interesting, uh, lively conversation with some of San Francisco's leaders. There's our ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell, who uh, produced and reported this documentary. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has a look at how the film is hoping to address the city's challenges. The lights were on, the mic was ready, and the stage set Thursday night for a community screening of ABC 7 News documentary, Injecting Hope. The film, from ABC7 News reporter Tara Campbell, is a deep dive into North America's first safe injection site in Vancouver, Canada, a place for people to use drugs under the supervision of a medically trained professional who can help in case of an overdose. The idea behind Injecting Hope was to go up to Vancouver and to really give people an on-the-ground look at how safe consumption sites work, the impact they're having on neighborhoods and drug users. Although illegal under federal law, California lawmakers passed a bill last year that would have allowed three sites in the cities of San Francisco, Oakland, and Los Angeles. It was vetoed by Governor Gavin Newsom, but that hasn't stopped proponents. The loss of life San Francisco has experienced over the last three years, it's twice as deadly as COVID. It surpasses anything our city has seen since the AIDS crisis. San Francisco Supervisor Matt Dorsey attended the community screening. He supports safe injection sites in the city and believes documentaries like Injecting Hope help bring greater awareness. Abstinence-based programs are only going to work for people who are alive. And, you know, there is a continuum of uh, approaches that we need to have. Others, like Ellen Grants, though, are more skeptical. Grants works with Mothers Against Drug Addiction and Deaths. She attended the screening and took part in a panel discussion afterwards alongside the supervisor. What, what can happen, it can have adverse consequences, including enlarging the drug scene, making it harder for people to get into treatment. Grants believes injecting hope is important to see because it demonstrates one model. But she says others also exist. She points to Portugal, which has made huge steps in combating its own drug crisis since the 1990s by strongly encouraging drug treatment programs. If we could deliver the same results that Portugal has, instead of having 640 overdose deaths last year, we would have had four. Injecting Hope can be seen now on demand on our ABC7 Bay Area app, wherever you stream. In the Tenderloin, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.